What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode with DCL Curations. Today we are going to be going over um, more Ethermon stuff and actually how to be purchasing Ethermon and what to look for when you're doing that. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, so there are right now, I guess, two places really to buy Ethermine. I guess you could argue that you could purchase it on Rarible as well, but two main places. That's going to be um, Ethermon.io, so the main site here in the marketplace, and then it's also going to be on OpenSea. So <clears throat> if you go to the marketplace here you can filter depending on you know what you want so if you're looking for a firemon because for example right now in the battle ladders we um uh, just saw that Ethermon released a play to earn ladder where you get Emon for every win. And if you look down here, it's Firemons only. So you might need a, an extra Firemon or two to participate in that ladder right now. So you can go over here, filter by Firemons, and then you can even filter by, you know, cheapest Mons, which all of these are, <laughs> all the cheapest ones are Kiaris but those are actually free so don't buy any of these um this actually right here is a good buy it looks like uh, polynema which is actually a gasin for fire types um so it looks like that's kind of the floor on polynemos right now yeah and then it jumps up to point zero five um there, I mean, there might be perfection things there. You can look at their stats as well. But let's see. So what? That Polynema was at 0 0.02. So you might also want to check both the Ethermon Marketplace and OpenSea. So if we were to go over to OpenSea now and go to Ethermon, make sure you actually click on that group. Um, and then, of course, all these snobbits and hambrisks and kiaris are going to show up. Don't buy any of these. These are all free or we're free, um, you know, unless you're getting it at, like, a, uh, you know, you might not be able to claim them for free anymore, but you should be able to get them for, like, a dollar or less, um, 33 cents. So don't don't be fooled by anybody trying to upsell you on these but um, once you search by the ethermon actual collection over here on the left you can search similar to the marketplace um, when you're filtering and so if we want to look for a polynemo we go down to class name type in poly polynemo then you're gonna want to make sure you search by buy now and all right, looks like the open sea floor is 0 0.075, so you'd be getting it for about a quarter of the price if you were to purchase this one right here. But um, one thing that you do also want to look at is the perfection level. So if you look at your collection, um, this Kiari, for example, has a 34.9% perfection, which isn't that great. Um, I, I might have some with high perfections. I honestly don't know. Uh, let's see. Superhero. What are you at? 45.6. It's not bad. Um, Oogie. What are you at? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> um, but so perfection is the average of um, these six skills. So you've got your health, primary attack, primary defense, secondary attack, secondary defense, and speed. Um, and the depending on your max and where you're currently at, it averages it all out, and that is what your overall perfection is. But what's interesting is that um, once you evolve a mon, it's another random generation of those stats. So if you have a low perfection beginner mon, it might take you a little bit longer to level it up, but once it's leveled up and you evolve it, you have a chance to get a high perfection, um, you know, evolution two or evolution three, depending on which mon it is. But right now, uh, one of the things I look for when I'm thinking of new mon purchases is you know, what is their max strength? How how powerful can they become? And so if you go over to the gallery, 
and you click on this middle one here this actually will show you the most powerful mons that currently exist and so you know scrolling through you can see I mean Vernorox, Quadrosol, um, Zedekazam dominating, um, Wolverize dominating these are all very expensive mons to get your hands on um, so one of the things I kinda look for is like if I were to click on Duskra Ducer? Ducer? I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, wow, look at that perfection. That's a good perfection. But, oh, man, 100 and 100. That's crazy. Uh, so, let's see. This is obviously an evolved mon. And, all right, we see its ancestors here. And its original form is a Cryptes. Cryptes, uh, which I actually need. Um... So let's see what that's going for in the marketplace right now. Point zero two. It's not bad. It's right where the polynema was on the marketplace. Let's see where it is on um on OpenSea. Cryptis. Point zero five, so yeah, I mean, um, sometimes it is definitely cheaper to purchase through you know the Ethermon marketplace versus the OpenSea marketplace. If you have the time, definitely make sure um, to check both. But if we click on it, I think it's under boosts, perhaps. Okay, so yeah, under boosts, this says it's got a sixty-one point two nine perfection. That's that's really good. Um, Let's see the next one up. What does it have? 67. Wow. Um, let's see. Can we see some on the marketplace? I don't know if I can view its perfection or not on the marketplace. Hmm. But... This is the first form, so I don't really care about its perfection, and the price difference is substantial, about a $100 price difference. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this one. Uh, transaction is going to pop up in the bottom right. Purchase now. Oh, my goodness. That can't be right. Point zero nine in gas. Oh gosh. What is it if I do it here? So it would actually be cheaper because of gas fees for me to purchase it on OpenSea right now. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to reject both of those. <laughs> I'll buy it later when gas is down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's how you would purchase a mon either through ethermon.io in the marketplace or through OpenSea. And you want to look at the perfection. You want to look at the different stats. You want to take into consideration whether or not you're planning on evolving that or you're just going to use it as a booster on your defensive team um, if it's a Gasson or an Ancestor. So you don't care about its perfection. You don't care about what level it's at, etc. Um, next, we'll cover the battle ladders and we'll actually look at how to evolve your mons. So, um, catch you next time.